Hey guys, I'm Henry from Paper Hat Studios. In this video, I'll be going over how to create a Windows 10 virtual machine. I'll be discussing the minimum requirements, what programs you should use, how to download the Windows 10 ISO, and finally how to create the virtual machine itself. Timestamps will be in the description. So first of all, what are the minimum requirements? You'll need at least a 1GHz or faster processor, at least 4GB of RAM, and at least 20GB of hard drive space. This setup should just barely be enough to run a Windows 10 VM. Now, what program should you use? There are two main programs used for virtualization for home computers. They are VirtualBox and VMware. Here are the pros of VirtualBox. It's open source, it's cross-platform, which means you can use it on a Mac, Windows, or Linux machine, and allows you to interact with the virtual machines via command line in case of emergencies. Here are the pros of VMware. It's relatively easier to use, it has built-in USB 3.0 support, and has better host guest integration. For this tutorial, I'll be using VMware. So, how do you download the Windows 10 ISO? So, you're just going to search up Windows 10 ISO in Google, Click the first one, download Windows 10 disk image. Scroll down, download tool now, click that. It'll download it. Open it up, hit yes, let it load. All right, you're just gonna hit accept, let it load again. Hit create installation media, hit next. Use recommended options for this PC. ISO file, and then choose where you want to save it, then the current version is 1909. Hit save, and it's going to start downloading it. I'll fast forward through this. Alright, now that this is done, you can just hit finish. Um, the next program we're going to be getting, uh, you can just ignore this, Yeah, close this out pretty quickly. Next program we're going to be getting is VM Player. Player download. Whoops. And download VM Workstation Player. Just going to try it. Try Workstation 15.5 Player for Windows. Hit download. It's going to download it. Going to open it up. Yes. And then now we're just going to run through the installation process. So here it is. You're just going to hit next. Accept the terms, read it, next. Um, enhanced keyboard driver, you can install this if you want. I've never had a use for it, so I usually just ignore it. Next, um, you can check these things if you want to check for updates and join the VMware customer experience. I'm just going to uncheck these because I don't really care about it. And then next, next, install. Then it's just going to install real quick. I'll fast forward through this. And then hit finish. So now just open up VMware. It's going to ask you what license you want to use. Um, use VMware Workstation for free, but not commercial, because you're not using it for commercial, obviously. And then now we're here. So now it's on to making the virtual machine. So to make a virtual machine, you're going to hit Create New Virtual Machine. Select the ISO file you just downloaded. and show automatically detect it. Name it what you want. I'm just going to name mine Windows 1903 or 1909. Hit next. Recommend file disk. I'm just going to do 60. Um, you can just leave these settings default and then hit customize hardware. So here you're just going to put in what you want. So I'm going to crank it up to eight gigabytes of RAM and just leave it on two cores. I have a quad core and two cores tends to be pretty stable for me. Just going to close and then finish. So it's going to create the disk. I'll fast forward through this. All right, now the virtual machine is booting up for the first time. This can take, this usually takes around 30 seconds, sometimes less, sometimes more. And then for this, you're going to want to hit download and install. And then this is going to take a little bit too. Hit yes. And then sometimes it times out like this. What you can do for that is just um, hit the little down arrow up here and hit restart guest and then say yes. And then press any key. So you're just gonna press key and it'll boot into Windows, um, the Windows setup. So we can't maximize it quite yet. We need to finish setting up Windows before we can actually maximize the screen so it takes up the entire thing. So just hit next, install now, and then it's just going to start the setup. 
Now, if you have a product key, you can activate it, but I don't have one, and I'm just going to use the trial mode. And then you're going to select the version you want. I'm going to go with Pro. Hit Next. You read this, and you hit Accept Terms and Licenses. And then you're going to hit Custom Install Windows Only, and select your drive. Hit Next. And then it's going to start installing Windows. This tends to take a little bit, so I'll fast forward through this as well. All right, now this is just the Windows 10 setup. This is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll still guide you through it. Um, so you're just gonna hit uh, select a region, United States, and you're gonna select the keyboard layout, and then if you have a secondary one, you can fast forward through this part, because this can take a little bit. Um, so you can just set up for personal use. Hit next. You can sign with your Microsoft account, but I'm just gonna use an offline account. And for here, you're just going to hit limited experience. Then I'm going to set up my account. So, Henry, create your password. I'm just not going to use one. And then you can just hit no through this. If you want Cortana, you can hit accept, but I'm just going to hit decline. Choose your privacy options. You can adjust these if you want, but I don't really care enough to. And now it's just going to set windows. This usually takes about five minutes. All right, so Windows 10 is done setting up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the player up here, go to manage, and then install VMware tools. So this will put it in a disk and it should pop up any second. All right, there it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this PC and then open up VMware tools. And then hit yes. And now we're gonna run through the installation. So you're gonna hit next, typical, and then install. All right, you're just gonna hit finish and you're gonna restart the VM. All right, now that we're back in, we can now maximize this window. And some of the nice things you can do now is you can copy and paste things. So if I just bring up a notepad on my host machine, I can just write something. You can copy it, and then I can just paste it in here. You can also drag files across VM machines. So, for example, I have a Christmas file right here. I'm just going to drag that over here, and boom, it's over here now. So this is it for the tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I'll make sure to respond to them. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe.